Sandwich Soup A little boy was enjoying a walk in the woods when he met the wicked witch of the woods. Will the witch be able to cook the boy's soup? One day a boy went for a walk in the forest. There he saw birds flying and squirrels jumping. There the birds were singing songs to each other. There he saw silver fish in the clear water of a flowing cold spring. At last the boy reached near the roots of a giant tree where there was a small brown colored house. She knocked on the door. An ugly old woman opened the door. His nose was turned to the left. Said the boy, I am sorry, I have come a long way and I am very thirsty. Please give me some water, please. Hearing this, the old woman smiled from the right side of her mouth. Sho sure, sho, sure, he replied. Come in, quote dot. As soon as the little boy went inside, the old lady laughed hysterically. Hey silly little swan, she said. Don't you know that I am the witch of the forest? The witch rubbed her hands happily. Now I am going to prepare for it, said the boy. I wouldn't like that. The witch laughed and screamed. He asked, would you like to know how that soup turns out? Here's his recipe, carrots, onions, and potatoes, peas and self and free tomatoes, magic herbs like flaxseed and fenugreek, and a yummy little boy. After that the witch lit a fire in the stove and hung a kettle on it to boil. Come here, boy, he commanded. Don't just stand there, do some work, cut the carrots, cut the onions, peel the onions first, peel the potatoes, peel the peas, chop the green beans, chop the tomatoes, set the table, the bowls are in my cupboard. Put the spoon on the right hand. The boy did not want to be a soup. That's why he had to think and do something very quickly. Excuse me, said the boy. Pardon the impudence, but I can't believe you're really a witch. The old lady rolled her eyes. I'm not a witch, she cried. Of course I am a witch, my fat rabbit. But witches can change themselves into different forms, said the boy. Sure, the old woman growled loudly, then a smoke smelling like peanuts rose and the witch turned into a wrinkled black elephant. The elephant flapped its ears and waving its trunk it turned to the left side of the room. Shouting loudly, the elephant went round the room and then it turned back into a witch. How did you like it? The old woman asked the boy with mischievous eyes. Now the boy came to know that she was actually the wicked witch of the forest, but the boy did not tell her so. The boy was clever, the boy said to the witch. I think it was a trick on your part, the witch told him, obstinate wretch. If you could turn yourself into a monkey, said the boy, I would believe that you are a real witch. What is the big deal? The witch bluffed. Then in a puff of yellow smoke that smelled like bananas, the witch turned into a monkey. The monkey did a couple of somersaults on the table and then turned back into a witch. The witch said, are you sure now that I am really a witch? The little boy now knew for sure that the old woman was a real witch. Something is trusting you, she said, but still not for sure. You have to do one more thing so that I can be sure that you are not cheating on me. Shouted the witch and hopped around the room on her right leg. Stupid, crazy ass, raged the witch. You wouldn't know a terrible wicked witch even after seeing one. The boy now had one last chance left. He thought very carefully. Only a witch could transform herself into a fly. He finally said I, if you show yourself as a fly, I will be sure that you are a real witch. A fly, cried the witch, what a joke turned into a green fly and sat on the table. The boy jumped up and caught hold of the witch's broomstick. She whipped the broom tightly and killed the fly. Thus ended the wicked witch of the forest. When the boy returned home that afternoon, he told his friends that he had gone for a walk in the forest. There's no such thing as a witch, she said, at least not now. <laughs>